Hey everyone, this is Hal Cal playing Mega Man X2, and today we're gonna be basically doing one thing. It's gonna go up this big old metallic shaft. Kind of. So, like the service entry unfortunately was destroyed. Like, this is like the employee only door. So, because that was messed up, we gotta take the other one and go through the tourist zone. And as you'll see, Tourist Zone kind of has this odd familiar vibe to it. I don't know what's going on here, it's pretty fishy. Gotta get, gotta get split in two. But, oh man, I wonder who this boss is. So now is the fight where I use the boss weapons against the bosses and we have a good time. This guy's weakness is a chain, because obviously, this way to deal with a crocodile is to hit it in the face with the chain. Probably. I, I, I'm not a professional. See, look how much he rears back. The problem when you use his weakness is that it makes him go back into the mud, like, immediately. So using the weakness against this guy actually makes the fight, like, longer. <laughs> In my opinion. Maybe it just feels longer because, um... I'm gonna try something. Because this fight is, honestly... I'm gonna try and use the Shoryu Kanon. As long as I don't get hit. I missed! I missed up my timing! <laughs> no! Well, see, you can only do one hit, and then he's like invincible and he goes back into poo water. It's like, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, this is why I don't like. That's This is why I've stopped using uh, Water Sponge first, is because there's no point. This fight is long now, and it's dull, because dude doesn't do half his attacks. He's like, oh no, I am hurt. I'm gonna go back in the mud. Then I'm gonna throw one saw blade while the water's all wavery. And it's gonna calm down. Whoops. Haha, <laughs> you can stop him right in the middle though. That's pretty funny. Uh, so, what are you guys doing? When's the last time you can say you truly have enjoyed dinner? And you don't need to take this question too s Oh, wait. Oh, man, I managed to hit him twice! Who cares about your dumb dinner? I... I just hit him twice! <laughs> this is an event never seen before in real life. Whoa, check out... Oh, like, you can use the, the thing to make it drag you to a place. It's pretty rad, but once you get the double jump boots, it's like, why would you ever use that? Man, I'm, I just managed to get bitten. I'm feeling real proud of myself. Dang it! I jumped right into his mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! How is this happening? <laughs> All right. Okay. See, I, I, I felt bad about him, so I let him have a little bit of fun on his own. I, I, I hope you understand. Oh, the dude has pretty good aim. He's like, oh, I know what Mega Man's gonna do. This. I like how you don't warp out or anything. You just, it's just this very unglorious, this weirdo fade out. So you can always get the same health here every time, making this a pretty easy boss refight, because you always guarantee to have health back. Well, I guess in the real Mega Mans, when you kill them, you get a large energy ball, so I guess it's kind of the same. Look at this guy. So like, Brrr! But also, like, his arena is, like, completely reflavored. It's pretty neat. So check out. If you use ice on an ostrich, it goes all electrified, and it's like, Whoa! It's running diamonds again. And again. It just does that again after every attack. This is kind of the thing with the, the boss weaknesses, is that you completely mess up their patterns. So if you only ever fight the bosses using their weaknesses, you're, like, you're never gonna see, like, half of what they can do. Uh, it's pretty silly. Like, also, I'm getting hit by, like, freaking everything. Whoa. Whoa, what? What got hit? How is that possible? What, what dinged? I'm using your, your, your secret the flavor sauce, friend. Uh, you can't ding your secret flavor sauce. That's silly. Also, like, I even even literally moving to try to get out of things, and I just move myself into things. Uh, this is a very precise sentence that it took me 55 years to build. Uh, please applaud me by smashing a rubber chicken against the side of a table. I will be found alive, finally, after all these years. 
I'm not full. I can't uppercut an animal in the face. What sadness. This guy! Now this guy. I mean, technically, snails. No. You can use guy if you want. What am I? He's got, he's got blue skin. It's pretty great. Alright, so you use Magan Mines on it. Uh, and then he's like, oh no! Then you can kick it around and be real rude. <laughs> like, there's no point of doing this, but it's really mean. <laughs> Dude, you. Dude, there you go. Whoa! Like, this is just- this is just abusive. Like, I don't feel good doing this, but that's not true, but... Like, I don't feel like a, a hero doing this. It's just so mean. It's like, HA! You have a shell! You want to desperately go inside- Like, the shell doesn't even live there. That's super weird. Supercharge! Oh, well, I want to show off what it does, because you, like, never use it. So, like, that's what it does. Like, when it hits an object, it stops. The supercharge just goes on forever. It goes through things. It's very remarkable. Like, it's so remarkable. I'm getting dizzy just thinking about it. Speaking of people just completely losing their nuts when a thing happens to them, check this guy out. He loses his tail. Spoilers. So now we can't use any of his tail related attacks. So, all he has left is teleporting and ninja stars. It's, it's very pathetic. I feel bad. But, also when you charge it up, like it does a really cool thing, so- WHOA! Should cut all this garbage. Well, the guy is kind of hard to hit. Like, honestly, because the way this weapon works, it's like he's up there, like you gotta go ahead, go, like go out of your way to get him hurt. I think that's unfair. I think that, you know, like other bosses, you should basically jump right into my weapons at all time. That's just the polite thing to do. I'm legit might lose, honestly, as I'm making no effort to dodge his ninja stars. I mean, but look, look at him. He's just going around like, eh, and I'm like, yo, check it. Appear downwards here, please. Why will you not appear downwards, please? I said please. If I say please, you have to say geese. That's just basic laws of politeness. I know these by heart. I am Canadian, you basically, when you're like two years old, you have to pass the politeness book law, otherwise you return back to the womb and uh, basically they try over again. Like, it's just, that's not me making that up, that's just how it is. And uh, sir, I have to say, you could be more polite. I'm sorry to say that, like, it hurts me on a personal level. But, I say this for your own benefit- you know what, I- I have no qualms in using half a sub tank against this guy. That's how little I respect him, after his complete denial of basic commodity. That's just how it is. I'm sorry, friend. Why is Silk Shot the weakness of this guy? I have no idea. There's, there's no logic to it. It's like the last- it's like, Silk Shot was the last weapon. And this guy still didn't have a weakness, they're like, eh, sure, why not, <laughs> why not, why not is how a lot of Mega Man related decisions gets done, I've heard, uh, I might be wrong, I'm probably wrong, there are a non-zero chance that it's possible that I could be wrong, but that's okay, you know what they say about being wrong? It's lame, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. No, no one likes wrong for this guy. He's covered in flammable material. You can tell because if you look at a tag on a shirt, it says, warning, flammable. <laughs> Poor dude. Like, it stops him from throwing, oh, yeah, when he's on fire, he can't throw stuff. Poor guy. <laughs> now he's just swinging around like an idiot. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. Oh, you can't burn him while he's in that, though. That's true. Alright. Oh, but that doesn't stop his clock pack. Interesting. And now he's gonna grow so beautiful. Oh, no, his two halves fell off. But the thing is, his insides are not disgusting. Mm, nice glitters everywhere. Laser can only fire downward. Oh, no, sorry, I caught your foot on fire. Whoops, sorry, I caught your foot on fire. 
Oh, well, look at that! He can stand on one foot while he's exploding alive. That's pretty impressive, honestly. Friend, you have impressed me with your superior balance and physical abilities. I applaud you. I'm not, I'm not charging back up. Who needs to charge back up? It's this guy here. A little stag known Flame Stag starts off like right next to you. He's, he's being really up close and personal, but check out, I got bows. Okay, you're, you're hopping up. Fine. Oh no, I turned off the fire of your antlers! <laughs> Look, we're just gonna be exchanging blows here for a little, for a few. Don't mind me. This is a farce of a fight again. Like, I said this many times in this, in this game, but in this game it's just that, like, when you use the boss weapons, you're not, you're not fighting the boss anymore. Like, you're just, you're just bullying them. Make him an X. I'm gonna flat out say it. He's a bully. He's rude. He has bad hygiene habits. And he chews loudly at dinner. I didn't want to say it, but it had to come out. Spikes on the ceiling is probably Crab Man! Oh, that was the ding of his eyeballs. So this guy used Wheelie Wheelton and goes Wheelie Wheelies. That's the sentence I just said. So, Wheel is annoying to use because it, you know, it doesn't destroy his pattern. But like, Wheel just kind of is very slow and you can't shoot a second one while the first one is still existing. So, yeah, I might, I hope I don't die. That's my only wish for Santa Claus this year, because I hope I don't die. I, mean, I know it's asking for a lot. Ah! <laughs> Santa Claus prevailed! Thank you for protecting me from crabs, Santa! I knew I could count on you and your stupid hat! You're always around going, Hey, check out my empty crab hat! And I'm like, no, come on. I am a fashion-conscious individual, Santa. But no, he pulled through. I knew he would one day. I, I would admit to him because of my pride, but all along, I knew he was watching the crabs off my back, and he would come along and save the universe. Meanwhile, here's Wire Spongy Form. He has a vine, and he looks mad. And apparently he's not a sponge in Japanese, but like another animal entirely, which might explain why he doesn't look like a sponge at all. <laughs> Just, you know, that was just uh, some, some criticism here. So you can break his block, apparently, with the Sonic Slicer. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna die from wire. You know what? I don't mind dying from wire sponge. I don't care. I don't mind. I'm giving this to you, wire sponge. It's my gift to you. You're special to me, you know? You have friends. You have a face. I have always felt a connection to you because of that. And as such, I figure, you know what, if anyone deserves to pretend to kill Mega Man in a non-canon way, you get to, Wire Sponge. Congratu- Hey, let me, let me keep the thing. There you go. Oh, that I got a Sonic Slicer in her head. I'm just gonna spam it instead. Oh. Sometimes it goes a little wobbly, but that's okay with me. Just press the button again and again and again and again. Oh no, he's mad! Oh no, it's a mad cucumber, but that makes me glad. Nice aim with your lightning there, friendo. Really top-notch quality offense. <laughs> and check out this sweet violence. Whoa! <laughs> it's so needless, but it's so cool. <laughs> there we go. Got blood on your hands, Mega Man X! Robot blood and Sigma's back! He's saying, We're all gonna wild, Mega Man X! What? Sigma? You seem to be a thunder hostile, but don't worry. I have a race for some new toys for you to play with. Nice. It's being all dramatic by using ellipses there, but I don't know if it's really a good use of the ellipses there. If you abuse ellipses, it starts to become foolish. Sigma, next time! <laughs> well, the castle's gone, so obviously we can't return there. Like, let's be serious here.